Znaker is a Polish melodrama from 1981 directed by Jerzy Hoffman, which has rightfully garnered a cult following among older audiences. Naturally, the announcement from Netflix that they are working on a new version of the film has sparked significant excitement among fans. Meanwhile, the new Znaker not only has the potential to be well-received, but also retells the familiar story, capable of surprising the audience. Znaker, 2023, by Michael Gazda is an outstanding film that boldly revitalizes the classic story, captivating viewers with its gripping plot and deep emotional components. The director skillfully conveys the complex emotions and inner struggles of the main characters, immersing the audience in a world of passion, secrets, and hope. Raffle Wilcher is a well-known and respected surgeon who not only thinks about how much he can earn by treating wealthy aristocrats but also wants to help the poor. He also loves his young daughter Maria, but fate doesn't spare him. One day, his disillusioned wife leaves the doctor for another man, taking their daughter away from home. Desperate, Raffle tries to find the woman, but only encounters trouble in the form of thieves, who severely beat him. As a result of his injuries, Wilcher loses his memory and wanders the world for the next few years, not knowing who he really is and what he is looking for. Finally, he ends up in a village where he meets the miller's widow and begins to work as a local healer. Although the beginning may seem very similar to the original, as the story progresses, the changes become more noticeable and sometimes can greatly surprise fans. Because even though the characters are quite clearly scattered throughout the plot, and it's easy to guess who in this story is bad and who is good, it is worth noting that director Michael Gazdid did not take the path of least resistance and tried to give this story a new dimension, perhaps better suited to younger generations. We have not only the titular amnesiac healer, healing people and spreading goodness, but also other interesting plotlines, such as the strongly expressed but dormant love of the father for his daughter. The excellent performances of the actors are another key aspect of the film. They skillfully convey the complexity of their characters, making them believable and emotionally rich. Their internal conflicts and struggles allow the audience to feel their fears, hopes, and joys, creating a special connection between the audience and the characters. The cast of the new Snacker has truly made a significant impression. Leszczek Lakota, who has grown a beard for the role, known, for example, from the series Vadaha, has played at the level of his extraordinary abilities. He evokes respect, sympathy, and one can even see an aura of a biblical good Samaritan in him. Maria Kowalska as Marija, although different from her predecessor, has managed to create the image of a strong, independent woman fighting for her rights, who in many scenes displays a difficult and stubborn character that is hard to tame. One might even think that the storyline of Maria and her adventures with the immature but aspiring to understand the life of the less privileged Count, played decently by Ignacilis, at some point clearly comes to the fore. One of the striking features of the film is its visual component. Landscapes, scene details, and artistic design create an atmosphere that immerses the viewer in the unique reality of rural life and the inner experiences of the characters. Thanks to the magnificent cinematography and exquisite set designs, viewers can enjoy beautiful views and experience the atmosphere of each moment along with the characters. As I mentioned before, the creators in many places paid homage to the original version of the film, but they also did not hesitate to experiment and give the character an individual style. Thus, there is often less drama here, but more romantic comedy, with sufficiently well-chosen jokes and the excellent performance of Anna Shymanchuk in the role of the amusing, sharp-tongued, yet simultaneously sensual Zashka. The film lasts almost two and a half hours, and personally, I really liked its slow pace, allowing for a better understanding of the characters and getting close to them, even if I sometimes struggled with a certain lengthy scene. The film treads a fairly safe path, it is also quite predictable, but it is capable of generating excitement and, above all, conveys a very warm message despite the obstacles the characters face. And it's just pleasant to watch. The set design overall looks quite authentic, with many shots showing wooden huts, pre-war cars, or customs and the charm of rural life, sometimes overly idealized, but it has its advantages. Especially when folk vocal compositions are heard in the background, creating the appropriate atmosphere. Overall, Znacker, 2023, by Michael Gazda represents a successful update of a classic story, combining emotional depth and a captivating plot, worthy of the attention of both fans of the original and new audiences.